Welcome back to Bear Download on ChicagoTribune.com. I'm Dan Wiederer, joined out here at House Hall by Rich Campbell. Rich, the offense is under the microscope this week. They're headed for a trip in Atlanta, looking to get well after a couple disappointing performances against the Packers and the Panthers dropped them to two and three. They believe that there's reasons for optimism. They believe that this might be the week they put it all together. And part of that reason, Aaron Cromer talked about it today, is that they feel like they're getting back toward full strength. Couple their starting linemen back in the mix, couple their receivers back to full health. What are your thoughts? Yeah, it was interesting to hear how confident and upbeat Aaron Cromer was today because of what he's seen in practice. It's something that we don't get to see, the fans don't get to see, it's behind closed doors, but they feel like the pieces are finally getting back together. Obviously, the guy that stands out is Brandon Marshall. He's been playing with a uh, sprained right ankle. It's a high ankle sprain. He's been gutting through it. And the production, in terms of stats at least, hasn't been what you would think it would be if he were healthy. And so yeah. as, as Brandon comes back, you know, Alshon had the hamstring injury earlier. You can understand why some of these parts were a little bit loose on this offense. And they haven't yet passed the 28-point plateau, something they did six times a year ago, haven't done it. A single time this year. Look, a big part of the problem against the Panthers was pre-snap penalties and turnovers. The, the Bears can point to those and say, we get rid of those, we're in much better shape. But the other part of it, as Aaron Cromer mentioned, is with all the injuries, with all the things that added up, things were just a, a click off. They were a little bit out of rhythm, out of sync. And all of a sudden, you're, you're out of sync at one part of the line, you're out of sync at one part of your route. The whole offense looks a lot worse. And, and, and so I think that's where the optimism comes from. And it's also where the, where the problems have come from. Yeah, the, the example Aaron Cromer used was receiver you got a receiver who's hobbled that makes your protection look a little worse and it kind of snowballs from there and so the Bears feel like if they get this together against a suspect Atlanta defense yeah, yeah. that they'll get it rolling well and I think that's the biggest thing they're, they're going up against a Falcons defense that's been gashed by a couple of different teams and, and we'll see where they go from there obviously Brandon Marshall reveals today that his injury was supposed to be a four-week thing he didn't miss a single game we don't have any sort of concrete way to check that out the Bears yeah, right. have been intentionally ambiguous and evasive with their injury information all season. So we've got to take Brandon's word on that until someone debunks it. Uh, we'll see what happens from there. Well, there, the one thing is there's no question about what he means to the offense when he's healthy. He's such a physical presence. He's so talented, physically gifted, yeah. that if he's at full strength, we know what he can do. When you see his numbers dip like this, you, you look at his health. It yeah. obviously hasn't been there. And you know, on the other side of that, Brandon's history makes you ask, how is he mentally? Yeah. He insists that he's doing well, staying positive, and it's a good sign for the Bears. And a big day Sunday will help. Obviously, we'll have more coverage throughout the week here at ChicagoTribune.com. For Rich Campbell, I'm Dan Wiederer. That'll do it for this edition of Bear Download.